<clears throat> Here we go. It's recording. Yeah. It's 94.1 KRNA. We're online at krna.com, and we're on the mega web with the cameras. James Larson and uh, producer Mike. Good. We got Randy Dostlin here <laughs> running the cameras today. Glad I didn't call him Mike Dostel. By the way, this show is powered by Thomas Dostel Developers. Who is Thomas Dostel? The deep, deep secret. secret. All right. Uh, before we wrap up the show, we have a very special guest in our studio. He is a Cedar Rapids police officer. Please put your hands together for Kurt Buckles, everybody. Kurt, 11-year veteran, and you are part of the K-9 units. Yes, I am. You're, you're well-seasoned in that. Tell us a little bit quickly about the, the position itself as far as handling these dogs. Oh, it's a great position to have. Uh, you get to have a great partner, stands by your side, protects you. It's fun. You get to learn a lot. You get to go out and do a lot of things. Um, having a dog is a lot of work, but the things you get to do in the community, the things that the dogs do to help protect sure. the citizens throughout the community and also the officers on our department, it's a great position that I've enjoyed. I've uh, been on the unit for almost eight years now. Congratulations, and thanks for joining us today. We're talking about guns and hoses tonight yeah. at the Rough Riders game. Cedar Rapids Rough Riders, it's a special promotion, guns and hoses. So Cedar Rapids Fire and Police will have a little old-fashioned shootout during one of the intermissions. And by the way, where are, where's the fire department at? They were supposed to be here. Yeah. Where are they at? <laughs> they got too scared. So. <laughs> They, did, they, they didn't show up this morning, just like they're not going to show up tonight. <laughs> Who's usually first on the scene? Who's the first responder? Well, <laughs> police are usually first on the scene, so that means we'll be first to the finish line in all the events. And yeah. We're going to win yeah. everything. Yeah. And... I feel bad we don't have anybody here from fire to respond back, but everybody's very busy. And I also want to thank Greg Bilo, the uh, communications uh, manager of the Cedar Rapids Police Department, for lining this up. So tell me, um, tonight uh, we're doing this. This is a fun promotion, obviously. There's a traveling trophy that goes along with it. But you guys obviously are, are raising funds uh, for for some programs that you do. And so, awareness, too. And awareness. So talk about that, if you would, Kurt. Um, pretty much the proceeds of tonight and the fun events go towards the Honor Guard unit for the police department and the fire department. It just helps provide us funds to help us go out and do the things that we can do to uh, represent uh, firefighters and police officers, uh, even military people that have... Uh, you know, put themselves on the line in the past and they've passed away and it's our way of um, honoring them and um, representing them and their passing and um, presenting our uh, duties to them and services to the families to assist them during uh, visitations, funerals, um, any, anything we can help out during that uh, hard time. It's fantastic. Very honorable, noble services. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In the studio with Kurt Buckles, Cedar Rapids uh, police officer and uh, the game tonight by the way is cedar rapids rough riders a uh, puck drops around 705 it's mm -hmm. actually right around 712 after the anthem and all that stuff but uh, guns and hoses always a fun promotion that we're doing out there at rider town usa now uh, a couple of quick questions what's the best part about being a police officer what do you look forward to each day going out and, and doing the job that you have uh the thing i like about the job the most is every day is different sure um every shift you get ready for you put the uniform on you don't know what's going to happen um it's always changing and that's what makes the job interesting also being on the canine unit is a, i just get to go out and do so much stuff with the public um i get to go to schools a lot talk with kids uh take my dog in with them tell them about my dog i get to interact with the public and just i get to do a lot of various things to help the public out and it makes you enjoy your job i love the the canine unit now in all seriousness and you're all going to laugh I have a cat at home. Is there any way we could ever train cats to go out with the police officers? I think there should be a, a cat cat department. I think that should be in your, your list of things to <laughs> do, James. My list of things to do. So, uh, Kurt, well, thanks so much for stopping by the studio. This was this was awesome. And I've got a couple quick questions. And, and you might say that these were, were brought to me by the uh, fire department. But uh, <laughs> they had a couple questions they want to ask. What's your favorite cup of coffee in Cedar Rapids? <laughs> Homemade coffee. Okay, Homemade good. Coffee. All right. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite donut? Uh, apple fritter. <laughs> okay, apple they, fritter. Those were the Casey's fritters, man. They're the best. Those did come from the Cedar Rapids Fire Department. Yeah, they, they awesome. asked me to just. Well, hopefully, since they didn't show up there uh, at the fire station <laughs> cooking me breakfast. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so before we go, anything else you want to say before the big matchup tonight? You are the voice for Cedar Rapids PD. Anything you got? I uh, just want people to come out and support our honor guards. It's fun. They have a couple different events during each intermission. Um, it's a good time to get together, to laugh. It'll be just all for fun, but 
obviously the uh, firefighters will be tripping over their untied boots. So uh, oh. we're gonna we're gonna win every event. They they wow. can't even, they can't even show up this morning. I so. love it. I love it. It's the SmackDown. It's like I'll, having Joe Namath in the studio here. Cedar Rapids police officer Kirk Buckles throwing down the gauntlet for tonight's throwing guns and hoses to the fire department. The gauntlet. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. And uh, I, I've told Bulo this too. You guys have an open door policy with us here at ninety four one KRNA. Uh, we understand what you guys do. They put their life on the line every day Amen. to protect our safety here in this great city of Cedar Rapids. So, Kurt Buckles, I want to thank you for everything you do. Yep, you're very welcome. What's your nickname? With a name like Buckles, there could be a whole lot of nicknames, I bet. I don't want to know, do I? Buck. There you <laughs> Buck. go. Buck, all right. <laughs> well, Mike, it's time to wrap up the show. We had a great time on uh, this edition of the KRNA Morning Show. But we'll be back, of course, on Monday. Same bad time, same bad channel, 6A to 9A with all kinds of Fun little items. And uh, one more time, I want to mention our Friday Afternoon Club will be starting on January 20th out at Wild Hog Saloon. That'll be from 5 to 7. And it wasn't a typo. Free nachos, free pool, drink specials, and producer Mike will be doing autographs in the back room for 25 minutes. Mickey is coming up next with 94 Minutes Classic Rock, commercial free. All right. Have a great day, everybody, and be safe. We'll see you tonight at Ryder Town at USA. And we're out. Good job. That Thank you so much. Very well. Very well spoken. Have a great